Hello fashion sewers, I'm back. So I haven't uploaded for a good couple of months, I was gonna say weeks, I wish it was weeks, um, for a good couple of months. And the reason being is I've been involved in a couple of projects. But before I go into the project, let me just say hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, even though I haven't uploaded for a good couple of months. But I'm going to explain that reason in this video. So, I haven't uploaded for a couple of months because I'm involved in a couple of projects. And the first project is that I will be publishing my website in the next couple of weeks. Yes. Oh, that has been, yeah, it's been exhausting <laughs> doing video tutorials and keep on doing video tutorials. Anyway, so that website is called colleenglee.com and on that site I will be doing flat pattern drafting techniques and also some blogging, hopefully. So um, it's a passion of mine. I love pattern drafting. Um, I've never, never really, I have done it in the past, worked with commercial patterns, do not like it. I prefer to draft my own patterns and I've done that for decades. I am actually, this is something I'll share with you. I, I don't share it a lot. I don't know the reason why. Um, is that I'm, I am classed as one of the top five contemporary fashion designers in the country by uh, uh, the Observer News magazine in the UK. And I've had that title for many years and also it's been a long time since I've been given that title as well. But saying that, I've continued with my skills in order to make sure that I can put together this website, which I think is amazing. And hopefully if you are interested in pattern cutting, then you'll also think the same as well. So this gives me an opportunity to share the drafting skills as well, as well as um, sharing my um, sewing techniques, which I show on my YouTube channel. But it's great to have my own site, colleenjulie.com, in which I can show you my passion for pattern drafting. So that will be, be launching in the next couple of weeks. So I'm so excited to be sharing that with you. And when I do launch it, I'll do a little, another little video. I'm, I want to try and use the, the stories in YouTube, so I might do it that way. But I'll definitely put it on the community tab. Um, so a video may not happen, but I'll make that announcement more than likely through YouTube stories, which I haven't done, and it's probably a good practice for me to do that. Um, but it will definitely be on the community tab. So um, do check that out, because I want to publish on there as regularly as I possibly can. I know I've said that in the past, but you know, this is going to be happening. The other one is, the, um, is a sewing event. A sewing, I'm not, it's not really a sewing event. It's, I like to think of it as a fashion sewing business event um, in which I want to share different kinds of topics within that event. So it's not just about sewing. So it will involve you know, pattern drafting, advice about you know, creative business, advice about um, designing your own collection of clothing. So that's experimental and um, it'd be amazing if I can manage to pull it off. So that will happen towards the end of 2019, um, around about August, September, around about that time. So I'm also looking forward to that and that takes a lot of planning. So I'm doing that now. So the channel, my YouTube channel, that I haven't uploaded for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, I keep saying weeks, why did I say weeks? Maybe because, I wish it was weeks, but um, no, it hasn't been, it's been a couple of months. Um, but for my channel, I can, most definitely can, upload at least once a week. In the past, I was trying to upload three times a week and it's just not even possible. Um, so I will be uploading once a week and I'll be uploading content such as refashioning because I'm really passionate about sustainable fashion and I think my contribution is that I will be refashioning clothes that's already out there, either for a better fit or giving it a total, utter refashioning of one garment from another 
into another. So I'm looking forward to that. And that also challenges you as well as a designer. It, it really does. It's a different way of working and I'm finding that quite interesting. So I'll be sharing that kind of content with you. I'd also be doing sewing techniques. I've done over, is it 300? 300 uh, video tutorials on sewing techniques. So I'm sure there's one or two that I may have missed out. So if there's a sewing technique that you're not sure about how to approach, then put that in the comment box below and I'll see what I can do. I also will be keeping up with my, um, my uh, what's it? Designing for myself, my own personal collection, uh, spring, summer and autumn, winter. So we're in March now. So towards the end of March, I will be revealing what I will be making for myself for 2019 spring, summer. It's gonna be about three to four outfits, more than likely four. And I will be, it won't be a collection as such that it's, it's, you know, as you tend to think of it in fashion design terms. Yeah, fashion design terms. Um, it will be my collection for me on what's missing for my wardrobe that I need to add. And I will be working from fabric that's in my fabric stash, so I won't be buying any fabric for this collection and for, for the next few collections as well. Um, if I need to buy fabric because I need it as part of what I am designing, then I will, but I won't be very frivolous and going out there and buying fabrics even though I want to. Um, but no, I'm going to be focusing on making sure that, because I've had fabrics for years and years and years and I do need to use it. So I will be doing that. I'm also thinking about, I'm not sure, about doing a little bit of vlogging on my channel. Now, I will vlog if this is something that you want me to do. Um, and I'll do that behind the scenes and what I'm up to and what I'm doing and what, I'm, and what I am about. So if you want to see that kind of content in a vlogging format, then I am up for doing that. So that only is up to you. And, you know, if you put that information in the comment box, like I said, then, and yeah, I'm really up to doing that. So um, that's it. Those are the things that have been keeping away from the channel for a while. If you have any ideas about what you want to see on Colleen G. Lee FSB TV channel, then please put those in the comment box below as well. And I'll see you next time.